What's up folks, this is your homework hint. Hopefully it helps you out, because this one's a bit tricky. We're given that line segment SJS congruent to SK, and we also know that JR is congruent to MR, and that KT is congruent to MT. And we finally know that M is the midpoint of RT. So let's show that in our diagram. We know SJ is congruent to SK, we know that JR is congruent to MR, and we know that KT is congruent to MT. We gotta show, well actually we also know that M is the midpoint of RT. We gotta show that SR is congruent to ST. In other words, we gotta show that this is equal to this. Those two sides are equal. How do you show that? Well here's the thing. This problem is kinda hard, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. What we gotta do is use the midpoint fact to our advantage. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do it. We know that JR is congruent to J is our RM. So JR and RM are congruent, right? So that means this and this are congruent. We also know that MT, which is what I just drew in blue, that's MT, or at least it should look like MT, is congruent to uh, TK. So that's TK right there. Okay? So that means this side is congruent to this side. So hopefully everything makes sense so far. So here's what you can do. Here's what you can do. You can show because this point right here, this point right here, let me draw it right here, this point right here, that's M, that's point M, that's the midpoint of this side. That means these two sides, this side and this side, okay, that they're equal, okay? So that means RM is congruent to MT. Okay, big deal. Well, if RM is congruent to RT, uh, is congruent to MT, that tells you a lot of information. Why? Well, it tells you, number one, if you know RM is congruent to MT, you know a lot of things. You can use that very powerfully. Because if RM is congruent to MT, then you can show that RJ is congruent to KT. If RJ is congruent to KT, and we know that JS is congruent to SK, we know that these two sides, these two sides over here, are congruent, right? We can use that fact to our advantage. How so? Well, here's how. Here is how. You know that RJ is congruent to KT, right? You just proved it. Well, if RJ is congruent to KT, and you also know that JS is congruent to SK, then we can add those up, and those line segments will still be congruent. So RJ plus JS, it will be congruent to KT plus SK. So what is RJ plus JS? Well, that's just this side. That's just RS. And that's going to be congruent to KJ plus SK, right? Sorry, KT plus SK. KT plus SK, well, that's just this side. Okay, that's just ST. And there you go. We're done with our proof. And we've just shown that RS is congruent to ST. Now, you might think, hey, this is so easy. How is this a hint? Well, you got to put this in math words. That's the hard part. Good luck.